Ave Maria Prisima. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is a very special day. Today is the 25th of March. So this day is the most important day in the liturgical cal calendar because today Jesus died on the cross on the 25th of March. What I really want to, you to understand is that the mission of a priest is to preach Jesus crucified. It's the most important thing of all because Jesus on the cross is opening heaven for us. Jesus on the cross takes all our sins on himself and he makes reparation for these sins and that way um, reparating the eternal father heaven is open for us. It doesn't mean to say we go automatically to heaven because Jesus died on the cross. It gives us the possibility of going to heaven. You can't go to heaven unless you are sorry for all your sins. You can't go to heaven in mortal sin. That's why God created purgatory. Okay? If, you're, if you die in mortal sin, you're going to go to purgatory if you save your soul. Okay? So the most important thing of all is, first of all, to save your soul. So what we got to do? Ask Jesus pardon for our sins. Uh, the next question is, we'd probably end up in purgatory, the lot of us, because of our numerous, numerous sins. Some people have more than others. For example, somebody who permits people to take immoral pictures of them, and then that's a mortal sin. But that's not just the worst part of this. This picture, immoral picture, put on the internet, where thousands and thousands of people see it, now you've, you're responsible for every mortal sin that each and every one of these people commit looking at that immoral picture of you. So think very carefully about morality, about pictures that you take of yourself and permit to be put on the internet. So many people open um, accounts on Instagram and Facebook, put bad pictures of themselves, provoking others. So we've got the sin, the first sin here we have is taking the, the picture, allowing themselves to take uh, pictures of themselves, immoral pictures. You know? so, but the worst part is so many people see these immoral pictures and sin. Eh? Because, you know, when a man sees a woman very badly dressed, it provokes. And so he commits sins of desires, mortal sins. In one day, somebody can commit hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mortal sins. I have to, you have to pay for these mortal sins. You have to ask pardon for these mortal sins. If you don't, you go to hell. The hell exists. They might say in Rome, it doesn't. They might say in other places to hell. No, hell doesn't exist, but hell exists. And a lot of people go there. We know from the doctrine of the Palmarian Church, of the Holy Palmarian Church, that more people are saved than go to hell. But at the same time, millions go to hell. Okay? So if you don't want to go to hell, you've got to change. You've got to, you've got to become pure. You have to dress according to the Christian code of decency. Women have to wear skirts, cover their arms, cover their, cover their bodies. Okay? If not, you'll be the cause of many other people to commit sins. Right? So all your sins that you have committed, they're all on top of Jesus. When the whole day of this Passion of Christ that began, the Passion of Christ began at 12 at night when he went into the Garden of the Olives and prayed there for three hours, sweating blood, thinking of what he had to do. If he could have got out of that, if, if he could have found another way of reparating the Eternal Father instead of going through the Passion, he would have done it. But there was no other way. It was the will of God. The Eternal Father had decreed that Jesus had to die on the cross and that Our Lady would have to suffer everything that he suffered spiritually. So don't forget that Christ's suffering, he's accompanied by our co-reparator and our co-redeemer, which is the Divine Mary, because she felt all the sufferings that Jesus felt. Eh? When Jesus was nailed to the cross, Our Lady felt those nails going through her. Nobody saw this, but it's true. She felt it all. She felt the humiliation of Jesus being stripped of his garments. The Son of God stripped of his garments. This is a humiliation, terrible. And the Blessed Virgin Mary watching all this and suffering terribly. Eh? So Our Lady accompanies 
Jesus in all his sufferings. Eh? One of the most terrible parts of the Passion is when Our Lady meets Jesus on the road to Calvary, because on the road to Calvary, Jesus, his face is all spat upon, he's all, he's, he's been beaten, it's in a horrible state, he's like a leper. So, the Blessed Virgin Mary, seeing Jesus in this state, it was terrible. She would have died on the spot if God hadn't um, kept her alive. So, you've got to think of your sins. If you commit a mortal sin, it's the same as spitting on Jesus. Yeah, the Jews spat on him when he was in the jail. They did all sorts of horrible things for him. Jesus was in jail for an hour and they covered his eyes and they did all sorts of stuff. Like I was saying before, spitting on him, badly treating him, punching him and beating him and all this sort of stuff was going on, you know. And so, but that's our sins, you see. So if you sin, remember, Jesus had to suffer for those sins. So we've got to stop sinning. Eh? And instead, we'd be sinning, instead of sinning, we've got to become virtuous. Eh? Be virtuous. A virtuous person dresses well, prays to God, asks pardon for his sins, um, practice charity, does his best for the neighbor, and then um, leads, leads a Christian life. So remember, Christ crucified. That's the most important thing that you've got to think of. Eh? Your sins made Jesus die on the cross. As, as, as dying on the cross meant opening heaven for us. So we've got to love Jesus. Eh? You've got to really love him. You've got to really appreciate what he's done and do everything that's possible to please him. Everything, everything possible that would please God, you've got to do. So what can, would be pleasing to God? Go to confession. Ask pardon for your sins. Of course, now we've got the problem that if you're not in the Palmarian Church, you can't go to confession. So in order to go to confession, you've got to be baptized. You've got to be baptized in the Palmarian Church because in the Palmarian Catholic Church, it's the only place where the sacraments are true. Outside of the Palmarian Catholic Church, all the sacraments are invalid. Even though you go to the priest and tell him all, the, all your sins, you come out with the same sins. Eh? Because Pope Gregory XVII, the very great, took away the power of all priests to administer, to administer sacraments. And that was back in 1982. So most people are not baptized. Eh? So if you want to be sure of going to heaven, first you have to become a Palmarian Catholic, get baptized. And that's the way you enter the Palmarian Church, through baptism. Then you get confirmation, you get Holy Communion, etc. Eh? But you have to become a Palmarian Catholic to assure yourself of eternal salvation. So before I finish, please remember that Jesus died on the cross for us. Eh? He died uh, to open heaven, eh? to reparate the eternal Father, and we have to love Jesus by doing whatever we can in this life to please him and never offend him for anything in the whole world. Okay, so um, until the next video, Ave Maria Prisima.